Welcome to Eric Blackman Music. Hi, and welcome to my tutorial. That was something that I call the Esteban song. I call it that because I heard the Esteban guitar guy playing it on YouTube. I don't know what song it's from, but I thought it sounded cool, so I decided to show you guys how to play it. Really? Yeah, really. The guitar is tuned standard E A D G B E and we'll be learning two Latin style strumming patterns. The first strumming pattern will sound like this. That's a 3-4 strumming pattern and it's down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down. The second pattern will sound like this. And that's down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down. And I've got a little muting going on as well, so it's So what I do is when I strum, I'm letting my fingers down so I can stop the sound of the strings. So I'm not taking my fingers off the fretboard, but just releasing the pressure so that it cuts off the sound. So it's... We'll be using those two patterns as we strum through the chords. The first one. The second pattern. Now let's take a look at the chords we'll need to know for this. We'll need an E chord or an E major chord played this way, holding down the A string at fret 2, the D string at fret 2, and the G string at fret 1 and strumming all the strings. An A form like this, holding down the D, G, and B string at fret 2 and strumming from the A string if possible. If you hit the E string, it's okay too. We'll need a B7 chord, or what I call a shortcut B7 chord. We're going to hold down the A string at fret 2, the D string at fret 1, and the G string at fret 2, and leave these strings open, which is really a B11, but I like to use that style, and if I play just those strings, I've got a B7. If I play them all, I've got a B11. So we're going to call it B7 for short. Okay? So that's our shortcut B7 chord. And we're strumming from the A string on that one. We're going to use a regular G, like this. For that one, we're holding down the low E string at fret 3, the A string at fret 2, the B and high E string at fret 3. 
strumming all the strings. A traditional D. For that one, we're holding down the G string fret 2, the B string fret 3, and the high E string at fret 2. And we're strummed from the A or the D string, whichever one. We'll need a C. We're holding down the A string fret 3, the D string fret 2, and the B string fret 1. Strumming from the A string or the E string if you like. And that's our chords. So here's our chord progression using the first strumming pattern, which was down, down, up, down. Starting with E. Down, down, up, down, A. E. B7. G. D. C. Back to E. Start again. going to sound like this. One, two, three, one, two, three. So now for our second strumming pattern, which goes like this. Down, up, up, down. Down, up, up, down. Down, up, up, down. Down, up, up, down, E. Well, my friends, that's how I play the Esteban song on acoustic guitar. Thanks for stopping by, and have a great day. One, two, three, one, two, three.